Hi all, welcome to Savi channel, uh, Embedded Controller Lab. Today we are going to interface the UART with the LPC 1768 series. In a theoretical uh, thing we have explained that uh, what, are, what is UART, how it is used, when it is used, what is that uh, uh, registers, inbuilt registers are there which will be helpful for the programming and all. So in this video we are going to see only the interface part. Uh, here it is a program and you have to know that uh, you are going to write a program and save it as a dot c. Here we have typed uart 123 dot c and lcd dot c has to be included because uh, it, uh, lcd display will be uh, L, uh, lcd will be showing the data or else you can see it directly on a terminal of a uart. So that is fine. So you are going to include this one. Here it is a program hash include lpc 17 double x dot h, hash include L, uh, lcd dot h, these are all the commands to be included here. And uh, very important point is that hash defined f osc, f osc means f oscillator with 12 megahertz frequency. The next part is that uh, hash defined fc clock, fc clock means uh, frequency clock of uh, uh, f oscillator into 8 times it will be multiplied here for easy purpose and uh, hash defined fcc is 0 uh, it is a master clock frequency uh, whatever fcc value into 3 are going to do it is around uh, approximately 100 megahertz frequency we are going to do uh, get it hash defined fp clock it is a peripheral clock fp means frequency peripheral clock FCC clock divided by 4 means one fourth of a uh, uh, peripheral frequency we are supposed to get it. So for that purpose we are going to use uh, this command and uh, hash defined u at 0 bps bits per second bits per second that is called as a baud rate uh, baud rate it is uh, set to 9600 9600. So, these thing has to be included here. Then your main program starts here and this part system initialization you are going to do you are init you are calling you are init as a sub function. So, we will jump to the you are init here. So, void you uh, are 0 init void that is a uh, sub function here it is started unsigned int us f division. So, f divide means you are going to divide your clock frequency that is why you are de uh, declaring a variable called us f divide lpc pin con f pin select 0. So, here what you are going to do you are means you are you will be having a transmitting and receiving both. So, that is why uh, pin 0 0.2 is used as a txd not transmit 0 command uh, then lpc pin configuration pin select 0 odd with 6 why because the pin 0 0.3 is used as a receive pin transmit and receive in a serial port there will be a uh, two main important terminals one is transmit pin another one is a receive pin so to do that we are going to uh, send a command like this uh, lpc you at 0 lcr because you are going to set a baud rate that is why you are going to set a lcr value as a 83 then us f division is a variable which we have declared above here uh, we send it with a f fp clock peripheral clock divided by 16 divided by your baud rate because clock division has to be done then these are all the commands which we are using to lock your baud rate. So, u at 0 dlm and u dll ok. These are all the registers which we are going to uh, set the clock frequency. So, us f divide divided by 256 us f divide by percentage of 256 to get a mod, mod, mod of a value because why we are setting these things means at a particular clock frequency only we are going to send a data or receive a data to do this all the operation we are going to set a 
uh, or we are going to give a command like this. Then uh, lock your baud rate by LCR and FCR with uh, sending a data called 03 and 06. So, this is the sub function of initialization for your serial port. Then what you are going to do it in a main program once again LCD init that is default it will be written by the uh, written by the manufacturer itself. Then LCD put string 16 0 comma you are program 4 ok just a uh, display we are going to do it here uh, as a UART program 4. Then LCD string 16 1 comma LCD terminal which you are going to display this one in your LCD. Then whatever the string or a bit uh, you are receiving these are all the get a character, get a string and a send a string value these are all the sub function whatever we type whatever we have uh, sending data which will be displayed on your uh, display unit. Then once you have typed this program, save a program, compile all the th build, rebuild, then go for debug, start, ok. So, here one thing we have to do it means go to view, go to view serial window, serial window 1 we have to select it. So, here you can see the serial window is there then run your program, then you can see hello world this is ECL lab demo for serial communication. So, any data whatever you have put up in a program that will be displayed here. Stop a program, come back to the main program. So, here you can see hello world this is ECL lab demo serial communication SVAT just I will type hello SVAT here. Save the program, build, rebuild, translate, go to debug, start. Anyhow the uh, UART uh, window will be blank. Once you run you can see hello world SVAT. And in the board you can see that it will be showing that you are pro program, you are program 4 watch terminal. So, this is about the you are program sending a data and receiving a data. Thank you very much.